Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly create a website for Azure for free. So say you've already created your HTML, JavaScript and CSS website, simply like this. You've got your HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I'm just using a template from this website called Story. So you want to be able to share it instead of just using this link, right? That's where we can use Azure. So we go to portal.azure.com. And then if you search for static web apps over here, click create. Choose your resource group or create one. Static web app demo. Give it a name, video demo. And then as you can see, you can use it for free. So you can have up to two custom domains. You've got 100 gigabytes per subscription for bandwidth. So if it's just a standard portfolio, this is, this is good enough. So you've got that for free. So you can do select because it's free. I'm just going to choose the one closest to me. So West Europe and then deployment can simply upload this to GitHub or you could use something like Azure DevOps, but I'm going to use GitHub. So on GitHub, if I go to repositories and then I click new, you can keep this private if you want. I'll keep it public. So all of you can look at it and I'll click create and I'll click upload and drag all these files. Yeah. Obviously if you want to do stuff via the command line and clone the repository down and then add the files and then push them up, you can do. But I'm just trying to show you the quickest and easiest way to get a website running on Azure if you've created one. Now the benefit of this being on GitHub is that whenever you make a change, because this uses GitHub Actions over here, basically these changes will be synced. So I edit, for example, a file, it changes in my GitHub repository, then it also changes on the website. I'll commit the changes. Now I've got my repository. I can sign in. So I've authenticated. I'll choose my account and we'll find the repository. The branch will be main, but you could have another branch. Resets and leave it blank. Tags, if you want to add, you can. I do this for convenience sake on Azure and taxonomy reasons. Then I can click create. So now we can click go to resource and then you can click the link for your website. It will take some time. If we go back to our actions, you can see we have it running. We click build and deploy job. You can see all the steps. So this will run every time you make a change in your GitHub repository. So anytime someone has a pull request merged in, or if you just make a file change in here, it will run this whole thing and your website will be updated. As you can see, if anyone's familiar with Docker, you've got the copy sh command, basically just running a container. This is fine. And then once this is all completed, you can try refresh your website and there you go. So that's basically it. You've got your website up and running on Azure in a matter of minutes. If you want to edit anything at a custom domain, you can, you have to verify by using your txt file, etc. If you wanted to put a domain so at this, then you add your text file, blah, blah, blah. Hope that helped. You can manage it from here. And yeah, hope you had a great one. That's how you can host a free website on Azure in a matter of minutes. Bye-bye.